Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming over. Uh, we'll give you an update as to where we are at this point with what transpired earlier today in our high school and then we'll, we'll field questions that you may have. Um, earlier today, our high school principals were informed about a student who had brought a bullet to the school and was showing it to classmates. State College uh, Police School Resource Officer John Aston immediately investigated and found the student in possession of a bullet, but not a firearm. Even though the initial incident involving the bullet was resolved, uh, a rumor began to circulate that there was a gun. We were not aware of that rumor. Um, because of the rumor, uh, the student communicated with parents, and then a call was made to the 911 center. Immediately, the local police responded. We had 19 officers from the State College Police Department on site uh, in a very We also at that time placed the school in lockdown. Uh, this means that students were kept securely in place with faculty and nobody was allowed to circulate throughout the building while the police and our principal investigated uh, the gun report. The lockdown lasted for approximately 10 minutes from 1234 until 1244 p.m. Throughout the morning and that time period of the lockdown, all students and employees were safe. Uh, on behalf of our district, I really appreciate the students who reported the incident, as well as our principals, faculty, and Officer Aston, as well as the speedy response of our first responders. Regarding our communications uh, with our families, we put out an initial communication to make sure that parents, employees, and students safe. Um, at that time during the lockdown, we received uh, a large number of phone calls that we just couldn't handle. So that's why we put out such a short statement. Um, the reason the statement didn't go out a couple minutes earlier was we were in communication with Chief Gardner and his team, our principals, to make sure that everything was thoroughly vetted and that we knew everybody was safe because that was our priority at that time. We then put out a short communication, then we walked through the details of what transpired and put out the follow-up communication that I just outlined. Uh, we do use many tools to quickly inform everybody about what transpires in our district. Obviously, some of those are quicker than others. For anybody who wants the quickest communications, email and our app are the way to get those. To record our messages and use our telephone system is just not as quick as some of those other tools. So that's my recap for you. I'll turn it over to Chief Gardner. <clears throat> Not to belabor anything that Superintendent Rosano said, but I do want to uh, commend the rapid response we got from not only our police department, but uh, officers from <coughs> Ferguson Township Police Department here as well. I think this matter was thoroughly investigated. Uh, again, I can't say enough about uh, the uh, school staff, the administrators and the staff and the police who acted according to their training in terms of uh, doing what they've been trained to do in the uh, lockdown of the school, uh, making sure that everyone was safe and, and allowing us, the police, to do their job. Uh, it was our primary concern was to identify and locate the student in question and uh, we were able to do that, when, and soon after that, we were able to put out a message, at least a brief message, that all was safe at the school and there were no concerns. Uh, and I think we did that. Uh, we, we, we will continue to investigate this matter and, and look at policies and procedures uh, and how better to, if we have things to improve on, we will do that. Uh, but I think in this particular case, uh, Everyone acted accordingly and, and, and did their job as would be expected, and I think that's something to be proud of. Uh, uh, and, uh, but we'll continue to always look at respo police response. We'll look at our partnership and our joint responses with the school district, and, and we'll look at ways we can improve, and, what, and, and we'll, we'll probably end up debriefing this and, uh, at some later time, uh, fairly soon. And then uh, based on that, uh, you know, we'll move forward. 